two-minute update looks at a randomized trial asking if colchicine can improve outcomes after an MI. This is a fairly large study over 4,700 patients in 12 countries. This was a randomized and placebo-controlled trial. The intervention group received one half milligram of colchicine each day, started about two weeks after an MI. Patients were followed for an average of 22.6 months. Included patients had an index MI and 93% had PCI. After that, almost all received standard dual antiplatelets and statins. This was a pretty typical population, about 30% smokers, 20% diabetics, half hypertension. Patients were excluded if they had severe systolic dysfunction, significant chronic kidney disease, recent stroke, or recent or planned bypass surgery. The primary endpoint was a composite of cardiovascular outcomes. The outcome was met in 5.5% of the colchicine arm compared to 7.1% in the placebo arm. That's 23% fewer events in the colchicine group with a p-value of 0.02. Individual event rates showed trends favoring colchicine, but strokes were significantly different, with 74% fewer strokes in the colchicine arm. The colchicine group did have more pneumonia, as well as more nausea. This was a relatively short trial. Patients were about 60 when they started the trial, so 22 months follow-up is really not very long. What would outcomes look like at 5, 10, or 20 years? There was no difference in mortality, but is 22 months really long enough to evaluate that? Overall, there were few side effects, and this is a generic medication. Colchicine was started about two weeks after the MI. What if we started it earlier? And there were far fewer strokes in the colchicine group, only five compared to 19 in the placebo arm. Might colchicine, given after an ischemic stroke, reduce the risk of recurrent ischemic stroke? 